Good morning, family. This is our reading for Sunday, July 30th. I pray that you all have had a blessed and wonderful day. Um, enjoyed your day, um, was safe for the day, mindful. May the presence of the Lord be with each and every one of us in the course of our day. Abba Father, I thank you this morning for being awoke with my mind on you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, continue to order all of our steps according to your word, your will, and your way. You know the outlay of our day, blessed and healing in all things. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen. July the 30th. Our reading is titled... Sunday, July 30th. Our reading is titled, Beloved, My Compassions Never Fail. Amen. Beloved, my compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can begin each day confidently knowing that my vast reservoir of blessings is full to the brim. This knowledge helps you wait for me and trusting your long unanswered prayers into my care and keeping. I assure you that not one of those petitions has slipped past me. Amen. Unnoticed. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to drink deeply from my fountain of limitless love and unfailing compassion. As you wait in my presence, these divine nutrients are freely available to you. Amen. Although many of your prayers are not yet answered, you can find hope in my great faithfulness. I keep all of my promises in my perfect way and timing. I have promised to give you peace that can displace the trouble and the fear. Amen. In your heart. If you become weary of waiting, remember that I also wait. That I may be gracious to you and have mercy on you. I hold back till you're ready to receive the things I have lovingly prepared for you. Amen, family. Blessed are those who wait for me. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22. And Lamentations is in the Old Testament. It says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait on him. Amen. That's one family that need to be posted up somewhere. Hallelujah. I know I'm a posted in my house. Thank you, Jesus. It says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Amen. That's John chapter 14 and verse 27. And that's in the New Testament. And it's the last of the Gospels. Amen. And lastly, Isaiah 30, 18. It says, Therefore, the Lord will wait that he may be gracious to you. Amen. Hallelujah. And therefore, he will be exalted that he may have mercy on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are those who wait for him. Amen. Isaiah 30, verse 18, the Old Testament. Oh, Abba Father, thank you this morning, Lord, for this reading. Beloved, my compassions never fail. Thank you for the scripture will remind us, Lord. And Father, thank you for our own experiences that we have walked in, where we see these verses, Lord, 
coming alive in us or set out before us. And Abba Father, for anyone who is new to looking in the scriptures and searching and finding you, Father, bless their minds, Lord. Uncap it, Lord. Release it in the name of Jesus so that they can have that eternal, divine interaction with you, Lord, and get to know you on the inside, up here, where all of us are formed. This is where we are, Abba Father. This is where you wish to dwell, in the central processing center, and exchange informations and blessings with us. Thank you this morning, Abba Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Lord, may we touch our heads and claim the promises. Refresh this prayer, Lord, every time this reading, Lord, is viewed, Abba Father. Refresh it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, help us to understand and know it is here where we move and have our being. This is where, Lord, we bloom and grow in you, Father. Lord, this is it. This is why the enemy wants to capture our minds with all of the stuff that he can throw at us, Lord. But you will protect this unit, Father. So, Lord, today I pray, I pray the blessing of protection over this magnificent brain that you have placed in each and every one of us, Father. And Lord, may we subject it to you, to your touch, to your healing, to your guidance, to your focus. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Heal our land, O oh God, from the inside to the outside. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Amen this morning, family, and God bless each and every one of you. By his grace, I will see you later on tomorrow. Family, trust him. Trust him. Only trust him. That's the one we can trust that will not fail us, that will not turn his back on us, even if it feels dark around us. He is there. Lord, Thank you for making yourself known to us, not just today, Lord, not just in this moment, but, Lord, in some things behind us that we can reflect upon, Lord, and the things of ahead of us, Lord, that we will walk into. Some of it, Lord, may be blindly, Lord, and some of it we may walk into it in the full understanding of what we are doing or what we need to do. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Bless us, your children, today. Bless us, Abba Father, and keep us, Lord, for truly we cannot keep ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. All right, family, have a blessed and wonderful day. Um, we have the song list, which we know that is there um, for at our disposal. Um, any songs that you would like to add that are going to speak life and encourage us, feel free to email them to me at nh2783.utb at gmail.com, or you can leave it in the comments. Um, however, but... I just want us to remember that our help cometh from the Lord. Amen. And that's our song for today. I'll put a separate link underneath uh, in the portion of the reading so that um, it can be there and you can just listen to that. But also the entire um, playlist that we have in YouTube Music titled Songs for Devotional Reading will be there as well. Thank you, family. Blessed day. This is Miss Norma. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you the best and the most and the greatest. He is the greatest love of all. Amen. Blessings, family. Mwah.